show you a little bit. Hi. Hi, everybody. If you hear Zoom outside, they're doing the garden. And I have 20 minutes before my power goes. So this is going to be the beginning of a new vlog. Um, lots to discuss. The... We're not going to ignore the fact that I had a mental breakdown last week. <laughs> and I chose to put that in the vlog. And the reason why I chose to put that in the vlog is because I am an advocate and an activist for good mental health. And it's why I want to become a life coach. I'm not just going to become a life coach for just life coaching. No, I'm going to be a life coach for self-development and mental health. So it's so important for me to talk about mental health on this channel, but also at the same time, show you, I feel nasally, it's almost like I'm nasally, I don't know, but also at the same time, show you what I am um, going through in the time, at the time. So, I wanted you to see that I am better now. I am still not <clears throat> in the best space. I am still quite overwhelmed. And I know that it's something that I said a lot in my previous vlog, but it's not a lie. I'm quite overwhelmed. I'm quite overwhelmed um, with school, with work, with content creation, with life in general. Um, so, there's so much that I, I, mm, no, no ma'am, no ma'am. Okay, so it's 20 to 2 right now. I am home today, which is a Thursday. Typically, I'd be at work, but I'm home today working at home because I have a 3 o'clock session with my lecturer for my life coaching. So I had to come up here and prepare. It's at three o'clock, so it's fine. We still have a bit of time, but the power is going at two. I just need to get my notes and everything in order. But I thought <coughs> we could do a cheaty little book haul because I haven't done one in a while. And discussing books and talking about books makes me happy. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to chat to you guys about these things that I bought that you saw in the last vlog. So, first up, this is a book that I actually picked up. Ta -da! Um, as much as I get sent books, I buy books as well. And the reason being because you also want to support the authors and you want to support the people who work in those stores. So just because you get gifted books, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying them because the bigger picture is supporting the author with their royalties and what's owed to them, but also supporting the people who work in these stores. So the first one is My Life, Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. I absolutely love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. It's stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, so basically, this story... With thrillers, I don't really like to know too much. This is about a married couple that's got secrets, dark secrets, and that's it. That's it. They have a very dark secret. And I want to know what the secret is. I want to know. Because I like to know people's secrets. I like to know people's dark stories. <laughs> okay. But I, I am looking forward to reading this. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Currently, right now, I'm reading Dolly Alderton's uh, What I Know About Love, which I might discuss with you a little bit later. And then the two that I'm quite, quite excited about is Cleopatra and Frankenstein, which I picked up at Exclusive Books. And um, it follows Cleo and Frank, and, and Frank, Frank, not Frankenstein, Frank. And Cleo is in New York, but she's quickly running out of um, uh, time she, and she needs to leave the country because she's not an Americano. And then Cleo meets Frank and they strike a deal and choose and Frank agrees to marrying her just so that she can stay in the country. And of course it follows that, that trajectory, that storyline, but their lives and the people that are also connected with them. Um, so Frank is also happens to be 20 years older than Cleo. I think it's very important that I mention it. And, um, so they party together, they go out together and you kind of slowly follow their story 
of how this all unpacks and unfolds. Um, so, yeah, their friends get drawn into this supposed marriage that's happening and I'm excited. I'm excited. The book reader in me is happy with these two. Um, Kaiegi. This is Kaikei. Kaikei. Okay, this is a fantasy novel because I, I kind of like fantasies, but this one is the one that I saw going around a lot, a lot. And it's about the only daughter of a king. Kaikei watches as her mother is banished and her own worth is reduced to what marriage al alliance she can secure. Um, although she was raised on the stories of the might and the benevolence of the gods, her prayers for help go unanswered. She turns to her mother's library and discovers magic that is hers alone. With this power, Kaikei um, transforms herself from an overlooked princess into a warrior. Mulan, anybody? Mulan? And I actually love Mulan, okay? Not that I'm Popeye. Anyways, into a warrior. I haven't been feeling physically the best. And the reason is I have been going to Dr. Nandi Aesthetics Cosmetics. Um, and this Monday I went for an injection. It's sort of in the weight loss sphere. Now, let me tell you why. Now, as you guys know, I've, I've been consistent on that. I've gained five, five kgs. It's true. I actually gained five kgs and, uh, but I've lost, I've lost actually like a, a K and a half at this point. But anyway, the point is I... I don't ever get to spend copious amounts of money on myself unless I am buying, and I'm talking copious, aesthetic clinics are not cheap, Ooh, they're not cheap, um, and I wanted to treat myself to things that are bothering me at the moment, it's one of the things that I think about that makes me so overwhelmed, my weight gain, to everybody who looks at me, they're like, you don't look like you gain weight, I feel it, right? So I haven't changed my clothes. I haven't up one size or whatever, um, but one or two sizes, whatever. But I, how I see myself bodily wise is important to me. And that has nothing to do with other people. So I wanted to try this injection um, that my sister was telling me about. And I was like, okay, let me try it. <clears throat> so what it does is that it reduces your appetite a little bit and so that you don't overeat and um, I'll, I'll, I'll speak a, a little bit more about that a little bit later the side effects though oh, I'm not somebody who's ever struggled with nausea not much I'll be nauseous there, here and there but not much be nauseous right for the past four days I'm nauseous every day Every time, all I want to do is sleep, all I want to do is read, all I want to do is lie down, all I want to do is I feel like I'm gonna vom and it never happens. I'm just so nauseous and tired half the time. But I will take you along with me to Dr. Nandi Cosmetics Aesthetics uh, to Dr. Nandi's offices on Monday because I have to go back. For another injection but i'm also doing another procedure so when you look at me look right do you can you can you can you see the four headlines can you see them yeah so four headlines are a really big problem for me because one i just when i'm not wearing makeup i look fine everybody looks at me like fine but when i wear makeup and because i wear a lot of expressions on my face throughout each day so I'm, when i'm wearing makeup i'm just like mm, mm, mm. You know, oh my God, you know, like I frown a lot, right? And I, you know, I'm always contorting my face in some way, shape or form. So I was like, you know what? Let me do an extra procedure and get Botox for my frown lines. And it will also help for makeup, for it to sit. So this is entirely my choice and I don't want to be told, oh, but you're beautiful the way you are, and whatever, I am away. I know I'm pretty. Thanks, guys. Thanking, but <laughs> I know I'm pretty, but that's not the point. The point is, 
I want to just do a couple of changes. And literally, it's just those two things. Aside from anything else, I'm not bothered by aesthetics, aesthetics and all of that in terms of my body. I really, no, no. So I'll take you with me for that on Monday. So I'm currently doing my final assignment for my life coaching um, qualification. And I have streamlined my life coaching qualification to be specifically the niche that I will be in is self-development and mental health, which I mean, if you've been here long enough, in the sense, and it in the sense and it so that's what i'm gonna do so th that's the chat that i'm gonna have with my uh, uh lecturer at three and we're just gonna chat about it see how i'm gonna because now i'm going to be drafting my final assignment is drafting a business proposal um you know for my company for this for that for that um and if you've been following me on social media and following some of my platforms you might notice that there's been changes in certain platforms um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later so i was busy with doing that for school i've been talking here for nine minutes that's nuts yeah that's it welcome to the new vlog thank you so much for having me thank you so much for coming through spending time with me it's gonna be a good vlog it's gonna be a good vlog Okay, um, always thank you for choosing me over and over again. Let's get into this video. We're finally at the end of the road, yeah. No, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. The network is a little bit... Um, chip choppy because of uh, power so health and self-development coaching i'm looking specifically at those i'm not i'm not necessarily closing myself down to 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 coaching about no lady no lady eyes yo man
Good morning, chaps. I wanted to... I'll talk to you a little bit more in the car about what the plans are today. But I wanted to plug you on the H&M leggings. Okay? Have a look. Okay? So, this is... These are the leg. These leggings are everything in a bag of chips. Okay? They're so nice. They're so... Yo, I love them. And they do twara mungu. Wang, understand that? One can hang. Rakandi legging seeds, Elena. Rakandi legging seeds. Please. There's no power here. Hi, everybody. I wanted to start this vlog um, back there, but now I'm pretty much a robot away from the mall. My father called me and we had to talk about some things relating to work and all of that. And <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, I'm coming into the mall now, so I can't really talk much right now. Uh, Kinila, a couple of things. The reason why I'm here is because I'm kind of bored of my display on my coffee table. Um, and I really saw some nice items. Moon uh, training, moon home essentials. Yeah, bon. So I want to just pop in and have a look, see. I can't do damage because I'm going to lunch tomorrow with the girlies, you know. So I want to see, have a look, see, see, and and decide with my life if I can. I just need a change. You know, when your house is already fully furnished and whatever, there's really not much you can do um, when it comes to buying things because furniture is expensive, TVs are expensive, all those things. Hi, hi, daddy. I'm good, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay all right so as i was saying um yeah you can't really change much i'm not even wearing makeup because i'll be wearing heavy makeup tomorrow so i decided to give my face a break i'm underground i'm in the basement parking that's why the quality has changed a little bit but um i'm seeing one here oh and there's another one here wonderful my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Corolla, what do you want to do? Sir? Woo, Jehovah. Keep up. Keep up. Hold on. So, as I was saying, uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'll try and vlog a little bit while I'm in the mall. Um, but, you know, when you have your own, when you have a house and stuff, it's not very often that you'll buy extra things when your house is fully furnished. You know what I mean? So, but you like to titivate things here and there. So, that is why I'm here today, titivating. I look like trash. But it is what it is. This is actually what I'm looking for and on top of that to put like a candle or something on there and that would work. Let me put on my pods so that people don't think I'm crazy up in here. Oh gosh, I remember at my first place I used to have this when I lived alone for the first time. <laughs> Love that. Let's see what else. It's 50% 94 rand. Cute. But I have so many of them. Maybe. Definitely get like a candle, like a nice candle. To also go on the, and a three wood candle would be nice. How much is this? I can't even see how much is this. But that's a pretty candle. 
tell I, I need something a little bit more. I'm a fan of glass. So I like back here. This is a print. $1.99. It's a double wick. Get a double wick for that price. I just absolutely love this section here. I love this. Maybe get something like this. Oh, Jesus. Something like this and also place it on there because my coffee table is white. Now we only missed the price. Another one which would have been great for the coffee table. Is this one it's very pretty but no wish I need to change going into the next season I need to change my pillow covers uh, to something maybe on the greener side maybe that would be cute is that 50 by 50 60 by 60 So I had to close this part up because the sun coming in quite strong. I just left the mall. The most interesting thing happened today. So I'm going around, looking around, wara wara, and then I realized that my area is going to go out of power by around the time that I was thinking of coming back home. So I'm like, nah, buddy. So I ended up watching a movie, which is something that, I mean, I do it not regularly but i do it and i enjoy it and it just felt so nice to do that um so now i'm actually even thinking because i'm on a roll i might as well just indulge myself well at one time because i'm already on a roll thinking maybe indulge myself and stop somewhere and have a drink but also at the same time i'm thinking to myself Vara, I would also like to take myself out for dinner alone. I think Diesel might have a problem with that. But, uh -uh. Mae, you? Oh, this water was cold in the morning, but hey man, it's very lemony now. So I'm actually thinking of just popping somewhere, having a drink because the power is not back yet. It will come back in the next hour and 15 so rather than have dinner or anything i'm just thinking pop in somewhere have a quick drink you know what i'm saying um and then head home after that you know it's that thing that i was talking to you guys hurry lena la sebeza langkutu I know that's right. I know that's an S3. I know that's right. I know that's an S3. I know that's right. And because I know that's you must enjoy your money. Because the reality of it is, it could be taken from you any day. You could leave the world. Your situation could change. You could end up having to, you know, be in a position where you can't spend your money the way you would like to anymore. Mm -mm. No, don't, my sweetheart. My darling, don't ever allow that. You have to know and always note that it is very, very important to enjoy yourself while you can. Do you know what I'm saying? 
And as an introvert, these are the things that I like doing. I like just going to a movie. We don't do clubs. We don't do, oh my God, and I'm socializing with my friends tomorrow. So that's great. I like to go to a movie. I like to go to a lunch by myself and then pull out my book and read. I like to do, and that is exactly what I'm thinking of doing right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, like my chat is also enjoy your, your, your life, your stuff. You know, you work really hard to be where you are right now. And every time, it's already one thing that we always just stressing and wondering, oh, yo, I have to pay for this, I have to do this, what, 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 that we forget to actually live our lives. No, don't do that. Live your life and enjoy it. Live your life and actually enjoy it because you grind every day for yourself. And it's all about mudimu what 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 is it that you think it's going to happen if you you spend your 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 last hundred rand? what is it what is it that you think will happen nothing nothing my darling so enjoy and shall tell luna kids one thing about life one thing about life it's too short i might i don't know we'll see where the afternoon takes us get dressed i'm meeting my friends for breakfast slash lunch brunch lunch afternoon drinks we're, we're going to be together all day this camera is skew but i don't have time my darling my darling i don't have time so i need to find i'm going to wear the outfit that i wore at the boss plus event because i loved it I loved it, the skirt here. Um, I loved it, and I'm, I'm grown. I repeat my outfits. It, it happens. It's okay. Okay? Put my shape way underneath. No, I'm saying hide off all the skunk. <laughs> the only difference with this time around is I'm going to wear it with white Chuck Taylors instead of the boots just to... Uh, it's 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 a warm day. I really don't feel like wearing the boots today, uh, but I really still also feel like going punk rock and punky today. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good look. So, yo, my mother would kill me. One of the way she can skate that thing, no? She like yes, sir. How do you skate? Go skate at Audi Mall. Can you try it? She would. Should we go with today? Should we do? Should we do back, back a bag again? Like literally the same outfit? No. Yes. Yes, we are. So what? We're doing bucket bag, okay? All right, so I need my meds. My daily meds, my darling. I've been very nauseous lately. <laughs> uh, what's that about that nausea chat? <laughs> been very nauseous lately. <laughs> Oh uh, lord. No. It's nothing serious. Lip gloss. Tell me you love a lip gloss without telling me you love a lip gloss. This one. The girl she thinks she is. And I have the quick face one. Just in case. Get yeah, on. Perfume. Because yes. I'm not going to wear that now. Here. Purse. Okay. Purse. And money. Even though. South African money is not valuable right now. Sanitizer, because that's my life now. Uh, King, you know you. And then, what else? Do I need any of these cards in here? No, I don't. I, need, I always need a pen. I always need a pen. Okay? That's it. That's it. Labelo, not necessarily. Um, I think that's it, my darling. 
Okay, let me put my shoes on. I'm late. I'm running late. Oh, my sweetheart. Oh. Anyway, good morning. Hi. Um, got a full face on. On my way to Hyde Park. Did a little bit of clipping in the house to show you what I'm wearing. I am I'm I'm I'm, I'm grown, okay? I repeat my outfits, okay? And if it's, it's one thing I love about this outfit and this pixie fairy skirt thing going on. It's just, it makes me feel good. And then I wear it with like Chuck Taylors or I wear it with, ooh, ooh, hectic. I wear it with like Chuck Taylors or I wear it with the boots or whatever. And it's got like a punky vibe to it. Love that, love that, love that. The, the sun is, is pretty wild. So I had to move you guys. <laughs> now I know where you are and you know where I am. And I'm where I'm looking. Um, anyway, so we we needed this. We kind of needed a girl's day out. We needed a moment with each other just to feel on the girlfriend vibes. You know what I'm saying? We needed to feel on the girlfriend vibes because we've really had a rough couple of weeks. And all of us, all of us have had a rough couple of weeks uh, with work and school and life and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I'm really looking forward to having the amazing chats that we typically have. Um, so excited, so grateful. Like honestly, if you have a bunch of great girlfriends, um, keep those relationships, nurture them, nourish them, love them, be grateful for them um, because those are the people outside your family um your relationships that you can depend on count on uh through, through good through bad through all of it you know you can you can depend